Hi, I'm the Scrub and you're here for one reason. You finally come ashore on the island of Western Lenosia and the Isle of Umbra has a delight in store for you. This dungeon has one of the most troublesome bosses in the entire game and I shall attempt to convey the amount of danger that this boss has in this guide. Don't be tempted by the Song of the Siren as we'll be dealing with that later on. There are more pressing matters however, like who the hell keeps eating the last of the leftover pizza, Jackson? Time to learn about Feroz Sirius. Simplified. Pull the opening group of mobs and then turn right to pull the next pack. If you're inexperienced or undergeared, I'd recommend stopping here to kill the opening pool before moving on. If you feel like you want to continue or you've killed that opening pool, move around the boiler and out of the water onto the paved area. As you approach the closed gate, two zombies will awaken and become targetable. Kill everything to open the gate to the next zone. Proceed up the stairs towards the closed door on the right where three more zombies will awaken. Kill everything. First boss time. Almost every AoE that you get hit by in this fight gives this colorful debuff. If this stack reaches three, you explode in a small AoE that gives a vault stack and a fair bit of damage. Corrupting shot is just a straight line AoE. The boss will Spawn zombie hounds. These hounds cast medium sized AoEs below a player and they don't have a lot of health, so kill them quickly. Crystalline shot is either an AoE in the middle of the arena or two AoEs on the side of the arena. These AoEs will turn into puddles and expand twice, greatly reducing the area of the arena for a short period of time. If you step into this expanding puddle, you'll also gain a stack, so it's best to stay out of these. Giga Slash is a huge knockback AoE on one side of the arena. This doesn't give a stack, but it can knock you into one. After you defeat the boss, exit to the west while there'll be a single mob plus two extra zombies that will awaken. Pick these up and proceed around the fallen shards to the left, picking up the sprite. To the next corridor. The sprite will eventually begin casting Banish 3, which is a small but super hard hitting AoE. Make sure this cast is stunned or focus the sprite down quickly. You can defeat the rest of the enemies in this hallway if you want before moving on. Instead of going into the room straight ahead, there's going to be a small gap in the rubble to the left. Then we're going to turn and head up the stairs, maneuvering between the shards that fall from the ceiling. Slimes and a sprite will spawn on the stairs that will need collecting by the tank, and remember to watch out for Banish 3 from the sprite. When you reach the top of the stairs, turn right and follow the path to the closed door where three more zombies will awaken. Kill everything to continue up the path. When you come out the other side, you'll have to kill two enemies and watch out for the knockback by the second boss. I cannot stress this enough. For the love of f***ing Heidel and do not destroy the eggs. If you destroy one egg, the boss will get an eight times stack of brood rage, which does slowly tick back down to zero. But if it reaches 16, the boss will start to enrage and can one shot you if you don't have decent gear. It will more than likely wipe the party with its dive, which stuns you and gives you a vuln stack. What we are going to do is let the eggs hatch and they'll run around the arena as chicks. You can kill the chicks after they hatch without any problem. The chicks don't have a lot of health, but the healers need to be on the ball with healing as the chicks can dish out AoE and single target damage. The boss, when targetable, will really only give out room wide AoEs and dot ticks to random players. When the boss hovers and becomes untargetable, it will start throwing out fast AoEs below players. Now it's best to move around the arena either very spread out or as a group to avoid getting hit by these AoEs, especially if you're undergeared. After defeating the boss, proceed to the next area. When you reach the stairs, there are two valves for the party to interact with, one at the bottom and top of the stairs. If you interact with both of these, then the exploding untargetable balls of ether that roam the steps will stop spawning. And remember to stun or focus the sprite before a cast Spanish 3. After this is the third boss. He only spawns zombies and gives a dot tick. If you burst the boss and ignore everything else, you'll be totally fine. As you move up the stairs to the right, you'll reach the final boss. The boss will spawn zombies to fight alongside her at points in the fight. There are ones that walk and ones that crawl. If the crawling ones reach a player, they will grab the player and stun them until it's defeated. All zombies, like the rest of them in the dungeon, don't have a lot of health. Deathly Verse targets a player with a debuff, Siren Song. This debuff cannot be assumed and it can only be cleansed by healing the person to full health. If you are not healed back up to full health, you will become confused and attack your closest teammate for a few moments until the confusion wears off. Song of Torment gives a bleeding debuff. When she disappears, she will do one of two things. Either reappear in the middle of the arena where she will cast Deathly Cadenza. This is a donut AoE, and if you are in the darker area in the middle of the arena, you will get hit by the AoE and get the Siren Song debuff. Or she'll reappear on the outer edge of the arena and perform Feral Lunge, which is a straight line AoE through the middle of the arena. You just need to move to the side of where she appears in order to dodge the mechanic. After you get her below 50%, she will start casting Lunatic Voice before she disappears again, and everyone will be hit by the debuff for reduced immunity where healing spells cast on players will be reduced. This cast can be interrupted and the debuff is assumable. This Siren will repeat mechanics until it's defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten Feral Sirius. My name is The Scrub, thank you for watching.